tell me, uh, introduce yourselves and the relation to foreign teacher. <laughs> Say your name. I'm Dorothy Black. The issue for many people who live in Frederick County is whether the water and the soil there remain contaminated with deadly toxins. Hello, I'm Jim Caviezel, and I'm here to tell you about a story that shocked me when I heard it, and I think it will shock you too. Over 1,300 families have, five trans family have been homes affected here have had by over these 15 cases of cancer. This hurts and this destroys family, destroys lives, destroys childhoods. There is a serial killer in our backyard and it's called Fort Detrick. Fort Detrick, Maryland is the place where the United States Army developed and tested chemical and biological weapons. They were some of the deadliest creations in human history. In 1972, the United States renounced the use of these terrible weapons. I grew up close to Fort Detrick. As a child, I cringed at the campfire rumors of what went on there. Large amounts of toxins and contaminants were buried in Area B11. The stockpiles were sealed up in metal barrels and buried deep in a field called Area B. Over time, these barrels corroded and their contents leaked. It seeped down into the earth and contaminated the water supply of the small town of Frederick, Maryland. I spent my childhood living next to and on top of an unknown chemical cocktail. I'm spending my adulthood fielding off cancers and their side effects. The families that lived there drank it, bathed their children in it, washed their dishes with it. The results have been predictably horrifying. I have decided that the United States of America will renounce the use of any form of deadly biological weapon, biological weapon, biological weapon, that either kill or infect. My sister had brain cancer, and Helen, she suffered awful. She had cancer terrible, and Jimmy's wife died with cancer. Uncle Bill, um, he died of brain cancer. That either kill. My mother died from cancer. My older brother died of cancer. That either kill. My uncle Harry, who died with pancreatic cancer. My cousin Nancy, who died with brain cancer. Either kill. All the folks that we knew around here, the, the lifelong residents, have all died from cancer. Or in She had breast cancer. Mom has Alzheimer's. Her leukemia now is like stage four. My mother had contacted cancer. Uh, uterus cancer. After we were married for like three years, I had gotten cancer. Uh, I had cervical cancer. Telling my kids that I had cancer four years ago this weekend on Mother's Day was the hardest thing I've ever done. One of the most dangerous sites I've worked on. Well, it's time that something be done. I've signed on to Star in an explosive and eye-opening film based on the true stories of people affected by Fort Detrick's carelessness. A church pastor named Randy White stepped forward to represent the families who suffered from this awful tragedy. Pastor White lost his daughter and his wife to the deadly water that flowed into his home. He wants the government to take responsibility for this tragedy. His faith has been tested in ways that few of us can know. Entertainment leaders and environmental activists such as Aaron Brockovich have pledged their support these military bases, they're polluters. The victims in Frederick, Maryland have spoken, but it's up to you and I to make sure that they are heard. Fort Detrick has repeatedly refused to do what it takes to put up signs cautioning people or warning people of the dangers in the During area. the Cold War, Fort Detrick led the country's research into biological warfare, even experimenting with Agent Orange. For decades, the military dumped its toxic leftovers directly into the ground. In the fact, ongoing Gracie Taylor survived problem. renal cancer and now suffers from multiple myeloma, cancer of the plasma cells in her bone marrow. The test in Renee's father has spent years pressing for Dietrich to explain why so many people in the area have Meanwhile, developed there are cancers. Of people living with cancer in this area who want to know how they got sick. I don't think it's safe for the people to work there. I really don't. For who it's personal. Are we going to continue to disregard? the scores of people in Frederick that are dying of brain tumor so and cancers? My daughter was diagnosed with having brain cancer at the age of 28 years old and she died in my arms at 29 and a half.
I'm asking you to invest in a film that we will all be proud of. Let's fight for Kristen. Let's fight for her father. Let's fight for justice. And let's fight for Frederick. Thank you. There is a serial killer in our backyard and it's called Fort Dietrich.